Uh, Rich Prickett, uh, you continue to track it uh, for us uh, into Rosemead now. I know you're uh, monitoring some of the, the radio traffic uh, and to the extent that you can, are they considering any additional tactics? You know, Frank, as a matter of fact, you know, uh, the the uh, squad cars have actually backed off entirely. Uh, as we look out the window, they're, they're really nowhere in sight. So it's just the helicopter that is keeping tabs on this vehicle. It's now making its way into a shopping center here. Now in a parking lot, it looks like to be a Walmart uh, complex here in the Rosemead area. Uh, I'm going to uh, actually I'm going to move away from the map here as we're going to reset that map. Uh, but again here now in the Walmart parking lot here, well, it looks like we'll see if he uh, decides to stay here uh, in the parking lot. But again, uh, the air units are basically oh, he's just, yep, he is parking now in a handicap. Mm. All right, another <laughs> so, violation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't see a placard, but uh, here we go. Okay, so the driver now opting to get out of the vehicle here and just, you know, trying to be casual like it's any other day here. Uh, he got his backpack, so hopefully they will intercept this guy before he can go into uh, any of the stores here. But unfortunately, it looks like he may be walking into the Walmart here mm. uh, in the Rosemead. I'll get you a, a better cross street here in just a minute. Uh, perhaps the assignment desk has that for you. Uh, but again, now this driver is uh, opted to take, uh, park the silver Kia Soul here in a handicapped spot in the parking lot of oh, it's closed. Walmart. Ah. Was making, yeah, now it looks like he's walking back out. You can see the uh, sheriff. Well, let's hope the units get there before overhead. he gets back in. Yeah, exactly. So he's making a sprint back towards the car here, unfortunately. So sadly, ah. this uh, may be back underway. Oh, boy. Well, that's uh, a shame. No, here comes that. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. So uh, Sheriff is now uh, in front of him. They have uh, guns drawn, making the commands, get back, oh. get out of the get out of the car. But it looks like he's going to refuse. He's getting back oh. in. So uh, they didn't get on the other side of the vehicle. Yeah, here we, oh, go. here we go. So now now they're 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 starting. Uh, he's still in reverse here in the in the parking lot here of the Walmart. Still trying to make an attempt to escape and get out. Looks like he's going to. Yep. Okay. More units go. converging now. So hopefully you can get them boxed in here. Uh, okay, Oop. making contact with the uh, silver uh, Kia here. Now it's still now picking up a, a lot of speed here, cutting through the Walmart uh, parking lot. Now back, uh, making his way back out to uh, the main uh, the main uh, street here. Again, uh, I'll get that map back up here just shortly. Uh, but now the uh, yeah, now we're gonna well, let me push in here and see. It looks like still sheriff's department. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't sure if they were going to get assistance by the local uh, police department, but it looks like sheriff, sheriff deputy still in uh, full command of this pursuit here. Now, uh, again, back on surface streets, northbound uh, through the, uh, I believe it's the Rosemead area that we're still in here. Uh, that's unfortunate. The guy had parked, got out, um, and uh, made his way back to the car. But, you know, I got to say a little bit of good news. At least he's not in the Walmart at this point and uh, uh, now the uh, the deputies uh, are back in uh, back in proximity with the car just before he pulled into that Walmart parking lot we did not see any squad cars uh, looking out the window of Sky 5 HD they really just gave them uh, uh, all the space uh, that they could and just letting the, the helicopter watch them and now uh, they are directly behind them so th you know there's th there's no denying that that uh, the sheriff's department is pursuing him and uh, uh, wanting him to pull over, but uh, uh, now has made his way back into surface streets. Looks like we have this map back up and running here, so I'll get that back to you here. All right, so just give you an idea of where we are. Uh, still surprising our, we're back that the, in the surprising looks like, that looks the like deputies didn't have some sort of a a plan in place um, that that when this person pulls over we move in immediately or something. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat surprised that the, that, and, and when they approached, they didn't box the vehicle right. in. Because they, they, then you wonder, what is this all about? What yeah. is the point of all of this right. to follow that far behind so when the person does stop, right. you don't apprehend? Right. Uh, I, I mean, we're not, we're not second guessing law enforcement right. because we, we don't know, but it, it's, right. it is a question that if, if you are tracking for for half an hour or, or longer, and the person actually pulls over and gets out of the vehicle, um, 
what was the plan to actually apprehend the suspect? Uh, it, it almost appears as if they didn't have a plan um, because they clearly the person got out, walked to the Walmart, realized it was closed, came back to the vehicle, and then was able to, uh, to get away. And here we are again. Um, but now they've, uh, to your point, Rich, they've made it clear to this suspect that they are in numbers behind him and, uh, and are uh, no doubt speaking to him over the loudspeaker as well, uh, telling the, the driver to pull over. And, uh, but the pursuit continues. And now the, 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 the tracking from multiple blocks away has stopped and now they're right on top of the vehicle, guns drawn again um, from at least one of those cars. Three uh, vehicles yep. right behind it, uh, four, number four coming up. Uh, but this is a light, so this, Rich, this is not a stop per se by the suspect, right? Is this a stoplight? Uh, I believe so. I think he's just stopping for the red here, yeah. uh, which is uh, kind of interesting considering it looks like he, uh, he should be able to go here. Mm. Uh, but uh, Deputy is still now right behind him. You know, uh, our assignment desk, uh, Alberto at assignment desk is relaying some information that now he is, is wanted for uh, burglary. Uh, as they're saying, he was uh, trying to break into the Walmart. So the Walmart was not open for business. So that is probably why he wasn't able to go inside and why he turned around and came right back out to the car. And uh, here we are uh, again, uh, back in the car, moving his way through Rosemead here. You can see the uh, the damage to the side of the car where, where the sheriff's deputies uh, made an attempt to box in. Uh, this driver before he could exit the parking lot, but he was just able to uh, wiggle his way through and make his way back out onto uh, the main streets here. Uh, now making his way through South Almani, uh, but now they are uh, those squad cars are, are staying directly behind him. You know, we we had not seen before he entered that that parking lot, the Walmart parking lot. We didn't see any of the squad cars, but as soon as he came to a stop, they were they were back. Uh, they had responded to that parking lot within a matter of seconds. So uh, even though we, we may not see them directly out the window, they, uh, they still stay within the uh, proximity uh, in case they need to uh, respond quickly. And that's exactly what they had done there in the Walmart parking lot. Unfortunately, he was able to uh, squeeze his way through the squad cars and make his way back out onto surface streets. You can see the deputies here uh, basically uh, on, the, on the ready uh, with uh, their driver door open. Uh, in case they can uh, make a, an approach up to the car, up to the vehicle here, uh, we got somebody running oh. up to the car here. What is happening? Oh my goodness! Uh, that yeah, is just not looks advised. No. no, not at all. And uh, we're not sure if it's just uh, that person just random uh, person or somebody that mm. somehow would know the driver. But okay, mm. so now he's making a uh, quick turn southbound on Rosemead Boulevard. You know, we had not seen him drive uh, quite this fast uh, until he, he got back in the car and uh, tried to make an attempt to go into the Walmart. Uh, and now, now that he's got the squad cars directly behind him, he's he's really zooming here on surface streets. Looks like he was up to 75 miles an hour with sheriff's deputies, and they are uh, not ready to give up uh, and uh, give him any slack here. So they're going to stay right behind him. Uh, now uh, accelerating here, uh, not a whole lot of traffic, but still just very dangerous situation here for, uh, you know, to be on surface streets. It looks like uh, he had the right of way there, and uh, so uh, we'll keep an eye on the intersections up ahead to see if he's just gonna, if he's going to make just continue to uh, uh, comply with any sort of traffic laws, or if he's going to start running these red lights. At this point, uh, he's been really good at uh, obeying the traffic laws. But now here we are. We're making a coming up on a. Looks like he's going to make a turn. Look like maybe he was going to make a uh, U-turn, but now he's in a uh, this this a uh, park here. Looks like it's a park just north of the 60 freeway here. Uh, so near the uh, Whittier Narrows uh, recreation area, and uh, just making his way through the uh, snaking his way through the streets here. And I don't know if this goes all the way through here. Uh, or if it's at a dead end. Oh, this may be a pit oh, maneuver. Uh, they could make an attempt here with that pit maneuver. This would be probably a good uh, 
uh, a good option for them. I don't know if they have been, uh, if, if deputies have been given the okay just yet. Mm. Uh, oftentimes, you know, uh, you know, they could have a supervisor. Generally, they have a supervisor that's in one of those vehicles close to the car and can can authorize the pit maneuver. Other times, they need to uh, radio it in and uh, request uh, a permission yeah. for the pit But yes, they, he has now reached a, a dead end here, and I don't think they're going to uh, mm. make the same mistake twice here. They're really going to try and uh, box him in now that they have more units here uh, with the car. So now the uh, deputy's outside uh, with guns drawn here. I'm going to widen out here just, uh, just to be a little safe and uh, we'll just kind of watch and see how this unfolds here. But uh, there's uh, plenty of deputies here and it doesn't look like he's really he, he really has nowhere to go uh, now that he's boxed in between the uh, deputies here and the barrier. Uh, again, this is just north of the 60 freeway. I believe this is the uh, Whittier Narrows Recreation Area uh, or uh, Whittier Narrows Park uh, here in South Almonte. And I believe and, the, uh, really the deputies may have gone to the back of the vehicle to get uh, non-lethal options out. Um, I, I suspect that's what it is. Uh, Rich, is that one of the things that you would you would see? And if uh, if there's a canine on, uh, on scene, yeah, right there. This is what I believe they're pulling out is a non-lethal uh, option to uh, to hit the deputy with to encourage that person to come on out um, because they don't the, the first option uh, for law enforcement today is not to shoot the person uh, and and to try to use various means to to get the person to comply uh, as they should um, and it I believe that, that it, Rich maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong but I believe that's what they pulled out of the back yeah, Frank, it would appear they uh, they did pull out a non-lethal uh, rifle there, either with, with uh, bean bags or uh, some sort of, uh, you know, pellets, you know, paintballs, things like that. Uh, they could use all those uh, sorts of uh, sorts of, sorts of options here. Now, this driver, uh, we haven't heard any traffic, anything on the uh, across the the, uh, the police frequencies that they believe that this that this driver has given them any reason to believe that he is armed. So. Mm. Uh, you know they're in, they're in close proximity. Uh, you got you, you got to assume that they are in, uh, in communication with this guy, and uh, they're going to do everything they can to bring this to a peaceful resolution. You know, using uh, you know any sort of uh, you know whether the guy just gives up or you know if they have to use some sort of force, you would hope it's non-lethal. Uh, again, this guy has not given any uh, reason to believe that he is armed. Uh, this guy wanted just uh, for for this. Uh, stolen vehicle out of Compton here. It looks like he's uh, empty in his pockets here. Got his hands up. He's uh, showing that he's, uh, at this point, willing to comply. Let's see if he can get that door open. Yeah, he sure can. You can see that damage. That was from earlier when uh, deputies tried to box him in in the Walmart parking lot. So now outside the vehicle, he's turned around. He's got his hands up. And uh, deputies are in, uh, are going to have him in custody here in just a moment. So uh, this all ending here in a uh, basically a dead end uh, at the Whittier Narrows Park here in South El Monte, and uh, we haven't heard that anyone else uh, is believed to be in the car. But uh, they're going to take him and they're going to uh, cuff this guy up. They're going to move him out of the way, and then uh, deputies will make an approach. You see, they got the shield out just as a uh, you know just in case, and uh, they'll make sure to clear the car, make sure no one no one's in there, and. Looks like, uh, yep, they got him hooked up. He, he's uh, heading, heading, will uh, be headed uh, to the back of that car. We haven't seen them pull a, uh, any sort of guns uh, or any uh, weapons uh, from the waistband of that guy. So uh, they'll clear the car. Looks like we'll, we'll see this, the, uh, okay, there it is, code four. All right, so that means uh, that uh, the car is clear. Suspect is now being taken into custody. Uh, after this uh, driver stole a uh, silver Kia Soul, uh, believed to be in the, uh, in the Compton area before making his way all the way up to South Almonte, uh, where he's now being taken into custody. Glad to see this came to an end peacefully because a lot of times uh, when the public gets involved, it can be very dangerous for those unaware that a pursuit is happening through their neighborhood. Uh, but now this person's in the back of the squad car there. And again, as, as Rich said, started as a stolen vehicle in Compton, but weaved its way through many uh, neighborhoods and uh, freeways and 
roads throughout our, our city, so thankfully uh, no one was hurt in the park. And let's ma make sure that people understand uh, this suspect is facing a number of consequences, not just for a stolen vehicle failing to yield, but also now potentially assault with a deadly weapon against uh, LA uh, Sheriff's deputies uh, when uh, they will make the argument, at least to, to uh, the DA's office, that this vehicle was coming right at sheriffs uh, and, and hit them, uh, which uh, they frequently file as an assault with a deadly weapon. Whether the prosecutor accepts that or not is another matter, but at least that's one of the potential charges this person is facing. So it's all over. Code 4 uh, at 741 in Southern California. We're going to take a short break. We'll resume our news coverage in just a moment.